True or False, Episode 3, Dog Facts You Might Take for Granted. Creating the Dogo Argentina was difficult. True. Yes, it's true, because creating this breed was possible by crossing the now-extinct Cordoba fighting dog with a lot of breeds such as Mastiffs, Bulldogs, Bull Terrier, Boxers, and other breeds like the Great Dane, Irish Wolfhound, and English Pointer. The result of this long and difficult process was the now Dogo Argentino, who's a fearless big game hunter and guard dog. George Washington created the American Foxhound? True. The American Kennel Club recognizes George Washington as the father of the American Foxhound. The U.S. president was an enthusiast of fox hunting and experimented with different breeds who he took hunting. That's when he wanted to create a new American hunting dog that's superior and has the speed, sense, and brains. He bred the English Foxhound with other European hounds and created the American Foxhound as we know it today. Dogs take revenge? False. Regardless of what many pet parents think, their dog chews up the furniture to get even or for not paying attention to them. Dog brains don't have the ability to understand or communicate spite or vindictive behavior. They're incapable of these complicated human emotions. They'll do so out of fear, anxiety, or frustration, or he just missed you while you were gone and didn't know what to do with his frustration and anxiety. Dogs can detect epileptic seizures? True. Seizure alert dogs, as implied by their name, are dogs that can sense and notify their human companions of an oncoming seizure. This alerting behavior has been reported to occur several seconds to 45 minutes or more before the onset of a seizure. Labrador Retrievers are the most common breeds used as seizure alert dogs. German Shepherds can't be trusted around kids? false. This is a very unfair misconception because German Shepherds are child-friendly and enjoy children when properly socialized and trained. They are a highly intelligent breed that's specially selected throughout history for their loyal, watchful temperament with their families. They are highly obedient dogs. As such, they're easy to train to play nice and act accordingly around children. Great Dane is the tallest dog breed. False. The tallest dog breed is in fact the Irish Wolfhound, who stands nearly 35 inches at the shoulder and weighs up to 180 pounds. The Great Dane on the other side is around 3 inches shorter and stands around 30 to 32 inches at the shoulder and weighs up to 175 pounds. Siberian Husky can tolerate minus 60 degrees Celsius? True. The Siberian Husky is the only dog breed in the world that can tolerate such an extreme temperature. Due to his double coat and years of working as a sled dog in very difficult circumstances, he's developed the ability to withstand not even extreme cold, but also rain and wind. Large breeds live longer than small breeds? False. In fact, small breeds live longer than large breeds. For example, a large breed like a St. Bernard has a maximum of an 8-year lifespan, while a Chihuahua can live up to 17 years. The larger the dog, the shorter their life expectancy. According to scientists, larger dogs die younger because they age significantly faster than smaller dogs. Before we start the next one, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Borble can kill a lion. False. The misconception that a borble can kill a lion is created by exaggerating the fact that borbles are beyond fearless. Yes, they're fearless, but killing a lion and having the courage to face him are two different things. In a one-to-one -one fight, the lion would definitely win, but the borble turns into a hero since he might have been protecting his land or family. The Australian Shepherd isn't from Australia? True. This breed came from the Basque region of Spain. Basque Shepherds first took their dogs with them to Australia, then to the United States, so Americans called the dogs Australian Shepherds. The breed as we know it today was developed solely in the United States. Rottweilers are just impossible to train. False. 
This myth is almost laughably wrong. However, Rottweilers are widely considered one of the 10 smartest dog breeds, and they can pick up new commands in a flash. Also, remember that they were originally bred to do all sorts of tasks, including herd livestock, guard flocks, and pull carts. So they have a long history of being useful and obedient. So if his training is stalled, it's most likely that you're wrong with your approach or methods. Rottweilers love only one person. False. Rottweilers love and are devoted to every person in the family, but they are known to single out an individual in the family who gets the privilege of receiving the majority of their affection. This is usually because that one person in the house is the Rottie's primary giver of food, water, commands, or attention. Most of the time, this person is the owner as the Rottweiler considers him the pack leader. But to be clear, he loves all of them. The Catahoula Leopard Dog Can Climb Trees? True. Yes, these dogs are agile enough to climb even trees. They've developed this ability in order to pursue prey more effectively. This is the reason they're so used for hunting and especially in their home state, Louisiana. Mastiffs are fighting dogs. False. Even though these powerful breeds were used in the past for bull baiting and dog fighting, today's Mastiffs are way different than their ancestors. They've turned into gentle giants and make very affectionate family members, making them not tough enough for fighting. Rottweilers don't like eye contact. False. Rottweilers give good eye contact because they like it. They're a breed that watches everything, and they don't have a problem with looking you directly in the eye when many dogs would look away in submission. The Norwegian Lunda Hound has 24 toes? True. The Lunda Hound has six fully developed toes on each foot, four pointed forward and two point inward like a human thumb. The extra toes provide more traction and grip when the dog is navigating the steep or slippery rocks and peaks of his Norwegian homeland. Dobermans are aggressive. False. Dobermans aren't aggressive at all. They might look like that when they're on guarding duty or have found a real threat to you or your property. Besides this, they might have sometimes tough behaviors if they've been abused in the past or are anxious, but portraying them as aggressive is a big misconception. German Shepherds have a bad temperament. False. This is a misconception created by people who aren't aware of the German Shepherd's protectiveness, but they really don't have a bad temperament. In fact, they have a very versatile temperament as they can be fearless police officers and also gentle babysitters. So it's all up to the training and socialization of this breed and mostly the person owning such a unique dog. Wolves and dogs can mate? True. Wolves and dogs are interfertile, meaning they can breed and produce viable offspring. In other words, wolves can interbreed with dogs and their offspring are capable of producing offspring themselves. In fact, that's how the wolf dog was created, by crossing a male German Shepherd dog with a female European wolf. Dobermans are devil dogs. False. Dobermans are great family members that are very affectionate and loving, but they were known as the Devil Dogs by the American Marines and were in fact their mascots. Dobermans earned this name during World War II in the Pacific, where they used to go ashore with the Marines and flush out the enemy. So this was all for this episode. Which facts surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments.